seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, launch. Right now, 150 meters per second. Slightly below nominal. We're over one kilometer. Trunk deploy. Drugs look good. That's Sequencing the mains. Passing through 600 meters. Downrange distance. Trunks now in purple. T minus fifteen seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off. Vehicle is pitching down range. that call out from Max Q on the nets. Uh, the Falcon 9 actually throttles down its nine Merlin engines to reduce aerodynamic loads on the vehicle. Uh, it is now throttling those engines back up. As you can hear from the cheering here at SpaceX headquarters, uh, we did have a successful main engine cutoff, a stage separation. And uh, as you can see on the right-hand side of your screen, that second, uh, second stage engine is currently started and accelerating Dragon towards orbit. On the left-hand side of your screen, that is a view from the first stage as it makes its way back down towards the Earth. Uh, let's go down to Lauren and Dan for updates on that first stage recovery. All right, so as you can just see, we lifted off. We had an awesome liftoff of stage one, and stage two is burning beautifully. Stage one also has a secondary mission that it is performing right now, which is getting ready to come back to the drone ship and land. Now coming up in about 10 seconds, that entry burn is going to start. Hopefully we'll have onboard video and you'll be able to watch. Let's listen in on the call outs. Stage one, FTS is safe. Stage one, entry burn has started. Look at that plane. So three M1D engines reigniting. Burn is going to continue on for about another 18 or so seconds. Here that stage one landing burn has started. See if we get it.
ship about 500 kilometers away from where it launched from. The vehicle will now undergo its safing procedures, and the recovery team will make sure it's strapped down and it'll make its way back to Earth. Or sorry, back to <laughs> Cape Canaveral. It's already on. So there's still a lot more to go here. Uh, we have Dragon Separation coming up. Let's go back to Tom Perderio to cover that next big milestone. Wow, what a landing. Uh, coming up very shortly in just about 20 seconds here, uh, the Dragon spacecraft is going to be separating from the top of the Falcon 9 rocket. Separation should be occurring around 11 minutes and 5 seconds. Just about now. Let's wait for confirmation. Dragon, separation confirmed. And there it is. Three hands off point. Copy. All right, so we're at that crew hands off point. That means we're about two meters away. Crew no, no longer sending commands. Every dragon doing everything on its own. Confirmed. And we have motion. You see Dragon physically separating from the International Space Station, 1.32 a.m. Central Time, the International Space Station, 253 statue miles over Sedan. Down at about 5.45 a.m. Pacific, and we're getting real close to that bingo time, just past 200 meters. And we have confirmation that Dragon is now under 100 meters, uh, is 100 meters above the, the surface of the ocean. So next up, spin, standing by for splashdown. Miko, Dragon Launch Escape initiated. Dragon's away. And you can hear some really loud uh, cheering in the room. OK, you just saw a bright flash there. It looks like Falcon that may be Falcon 9 breaking up. And there you just saw the trunk jettison again. Some Really loud cheers here in Hawthorne, California. This test is looking great so far. Nice view from the back of the Dragon capsule. We're also trying to see if we get the view there on the right-hand side from the aircraft that's orbiting the area. Now the Dragon control system is now going to be reorienting the capsule. We're at a high altitude where the aerodynamics are negligible. So we're going to use the small Draco thrusters on the Dragon capsule to reorient it that gets it in a position with a heat shield down to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere and then later to deploy the drogue parachutes. And we have the view from a different camera on Dragon showing the four main parachutes. Now they are deployed in a reefed condition. That means we're keeping them fairly shut to avoid shocks and now we're slowly opening up the four parachutes. 
I've heard a call out, we're below 500 meters. And we expect when Dragon splashes down, it's going to be roughly 32 kilometers offshore. Again, we're looking at a live view. So far, uh, all things have appeared to go nominal for this test. All things looking great so far. We saw the four main parachutes deploy. You're looking at them now, uh, fully open. And we are coming up on about a minute until splashdown. I think we may have heard a call out of 100 meters to go. Yeah, I just heard that too. Yeah. Now uh, those four parachutes are actually going to be released from the capsule after splashdown and they'll be recovered too. And we are down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Godspeed, bottom dog. America has launched. One alpha. And so rises Copy. a new One era alpha. of American space flight. Stage and with Wilson it, the nominal. ambitions of a new generation continuing the dream. 20 seconds into flight, stage one propulsion is nominal. T plus 30 seconds into this historic mission. Flying crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9 and look at them go. We've heard the call out for MVAC engine chill. That's getting the MVAC engine ready to light. That'll come at about 2.44 into flight. Right now everything continuing to look good. Next major event coming up is going to be the triple. We'll have main engine cutoff of the nine first stage engines, stage separation, and then ignition of the second stage engine to continue to carry astronauts into orbit. Coming up in about 20 seconds. M M1D throttle down. We heard we're throttling down the Merlin engines on the first stage. And we have Miko. Miko. Two Alpha. Falcon stage separation confirmed. Copy, two Alpha. And back ignition. All right, we have stage separation confirmed. The first stage beginning its flight back. The second stage being powered by that single Merlin 1D vacuum engine has ignited and is now carrying Bob and Doug into orbit. So they're gonna continue under the power of this second stage. Stage two propulsion is nominal. Which will cut off at Seco or second engine cut off at about eight minutes and 44 seconds into today's flight. So a little over five minutes to go still on this second stage. You heard the call out to Alpha, so they're now in the longest abort zone that carries them all the way from about North Carolina up the eastern seaboard almost to Canada. Things looking good though, getting good call outs, nominal propul pul propulsion on that second stage. Bob and Doug continuing to make their way into orbit. And you heard nominal starting chills for entry then. There's that call out. They are still on a nominal trajectory on Dragon, still on second stage, and that's that MVAC engine on second stage on your left screen. Dragon copies, nominal trajectory. Continuing to check in with Bob and Doug as they are on a nominal trajectory. And back throttle step. We are coming up 25 seconds or so away from Seco or second engine cutoff. This is also the point where Bob and Doug are experiencing their highest G-force. We're seeing the counter tick up to right about 1.8. Copy, Shannon. 
You heard Shannon, so that just means they're in their final abort zones. If they were to abort at this point, would either be an abort to orbit or to land off the coast of Ireland. Standing by for second one line cutoff startup. confirmation. MVAC throttle step. MVAC shut down. Stage one landing layer. Confirmation of Seco's second engine cutoff. Now we are waiting for our first stage to make its way to our drone ship. Of course, I still love Dragon, you. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal orbital insertion. It's confirmation of nominal Dragon orbital Captain, insertion. Nominal Stage orbital one, insertion. Deploy. And what you're seeing on your screen is a live view of our drone ship, where our first stage will be coming down. Looks like we lost that live view, but we'll wait for confirmation of that landing shortly here. Falcon 9 first stage is successfully landed. And the there you can see on your screen, Falcon 9 has landed. This is the first Falcon 9 to carry humans to orbit. So very exciting for us. Waiting for confirmation now of that. Separate. Dragon separation confirmed. Dragon separation and confirmed. <laughs> there is a great view right in front of you Compound of Dragon separation. separating. Separation confirmed. We are inside the hands-off point, the CHOP, the crew hands-off point, one meter to go. Soft capture complete. Dragon is <laughs> Soft capture confirmed, stand by for retraction and docking. And with that endeavor, welcome to the International Space Station. Please come aboard. Never copies, with pleasure. We'll be there in a second. We have Bob Bankin from SpaceX Demo 2 mission entering the International Space Station. Followed by Doug Hurley. And Station Houston, we see you, and it, it's a great-looking photograph. Uh, so thanks for that. Stand by one. We'll call you when we're, we're ready for the event in the next few seconds. Got a whole bunch of very uh, happy and grateful people making their way into MCC right now. <laughs> 